everyone. In this little video, I'm going to show you how I ship small unframed pastel and do it really simply and safely so that the pastels are not damaged. So it's really pretty simple. All right. So here, here's my setup. So I have sold a little pastel that I did um, during the live stream. And so what I do is I cut a couple of pieces of foam core. And here I have the pastel. I have it covered with a piece of glassine. Okay. Just a little sandwich. There's the pastel. It's the neighborhood nocturne. Make sure you sign it. That's important. And I put the glassine on it. I've gone ahead and tabbed the past um, the glassine on the back, but you really don't even have to do that. You can just sandwich it. So once you've got your glassine attached and two pieces of foam core, what you want to do is tape them together, make a really tight little sandwich. Because where the pastel is going to get damaged, if it's, you know, shifting around or the glassine is even moving around on it. So I just, I want it to look kind of nice when my buyer gets it. So I've got, I'm using a nice piece of black foam core and black tape to hold it shut. But I hold, tape it shut really tight. See that? Really, really tight so that it's not moving around. Just like so, nothing is going to happen to that pastel. Where it's going to get damaged is it, it's moving around. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm going to include the, my reference photo because more than likely the, the person that bought this saw the live stream and is probably an artist themselves and so they might be interested in having the reference photo so I usually go ahead and include that as well and I don't put those inside because I don't want there to be anything that's bumpy or can cause any kind of damage to the to the painting to the pastel itself so I put these on the outside and I'm also including this little strip that I cut off the side of the pastel and put some glassine on it just in case they might want that too. Now, you might ask, well, why didn't you just leave that on there? Well, the reason is because I want all of this to fit really nicely and easily in a priority mail box. This is a medium sized priority mailbox. This box is free from the post office. All you need to do is go and get them from the post office. You can even order them online and have them delivered right to your house in a little package. But um, either way, it, they are free. So that's great. Oops, I don't know what that is. A little piece of tape. I try to have it look nice when it gets to my buyer. So I'll just show you exactly what I do. I'm going to put this in here just like that so you can see. There it is. And then I put in a packing slip from their purchase. And then the last thing I put in there is some of this kind of material that I save from other things that I get from Amazon or when I purchase stuff online, which is a lot lately. I think that's true for a lot of us. Just so, again, um, nothing's kind of jiggling around in there. It's pretty, pretty nice. All right. Oh, one thing I forgot to do that I really like to do because I am so grateful to all my viewers and buyers, a little thank you stamp. And that's kind of nice. 
So that is it. Everything goes in there and gets. Packed up. It's as easy as that. Really pretty easy. Now, the thing that's also really cool that I do, because I'm trying to avoid the extra work and time, is I use stamps.com. There's other services that you can use as well to pre-print uh, to print out the 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 shipping label. And I just print it out. You don't need to. Pr you don't even need to print it out on label material. I just print it out on regular printer paper, eight and a half by eleven printer paper. Cut it out and tape it on the box. And that is it. And I, I always put the. Put it like this. And I have a tape gun, make it simple, and there it goes. Now I've shipped, I don't know how many, but lots and lots of paintings and never had any trouble with anyone saying that one was damaged. Um, I have had people that have had these stolen uh, for their porch or whatnot, but I haven't ever had anyone um, say that it came to them in bad shape. So that's really good news. Now, if you have something even smaller, like this, you can use the small flat rate box and do the same thing, same operation. Now, the good thing to do is to really think ahead and make sure that your artwork is going to fit in one of those two size boxes. There's also a large um, flat rate box too, but I'm, you know, I just try to um, keep costs down, and I'm usually painting at a, you know, kind of medium to small size. But it works really super good, and just make sure that it's a tight little sandwich, and you're good to go. All right, so that is it, guys. I hope that helps out and, and explains exactly what I do. I know sometimes I say something, but it doesn't seem super clear. I hope that is clarifying and makes it really easy for you to ship your unframed pastels. Okay, all right, bye-bye.